All right. So uh, this is Amar Jyot Singh. I'm in Gurgaon. Many people have uh, known me. I've been uh, attending some uh, uh, study abroad uh, uh, seminar and workshop here for the past two, three days. I meet a lot of people and one of the persons I met yesterday and I wanted to share with other people who are following me on YouTube and Facebook about a gentleman who has an office in New Delhi and he runs uh, English training, IELTS training online and which I thought which was bizarre because to teach people English, you got to have at least a personal interaction and if, if they were savvy enough to sit on the computer and learn from a little tutorial online delivery, I mean, how will that work or not? Uh, but I was surprised that it has worked and a lot of people get advantage uh, through, through learning because people are, you know, in different countries, different locations, some, somebody is in, uh, you know, in small villages, sometimes big cities, and they want flexibility of learning and talking to a teacher online, like just like I'm talking to uh, him right now. So this is the way he does. And I will invite uh, him to come and talk to uh, other people so that you can uh, benefit by his methodology and perhaps you can take advantage to it. So let me just uh, re reiterate what, what I want to uh, give this benefit to people who need IELTS training and maybe they are living in Canada, they are living in US or Saudi or some other places and they want to learn or practice IELTS training, uh, you know, all the scores to apply for PR or visa or something. So you can do this online and how does it work? I'm talking to Harpal Singh from New Delhi. Harpal, how are you? I'm good, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you for asking. Tell us, uh, tell us more about how do you teach English uh, via online and what is your methodology? And perhaps you can give a little demo if you can. Sir, so first of all, I think it is important to understand the requirements of the candidate to understand where he is standing right now in terms of proficiency as per the IELTS standards. So there are people who have really good English proficiency, but they fail to score in IELTS, especially the writing part. Mm. Right. So what we do is that, uh, let me just share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. So, so first of all, uh, whosoever it is, anybody from anywhere, whether he has taken the test earlier or not, we share a mock test first. So this is a mock test, uh, which okay. has all the sections of uh, IELTS listening, reading, writing, and speaking. It is not the full test of three hours, but yes, uh, around one hour. So that the, the candidate who has not taken this test gets the feel of the test. Uh, he or she will do the test and send us back the uh, answers. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I've got some question here. So yeah. the, way, the way you are showing your screen to me, this is the same way by which a student can actually follow your computer and look at the instructions, whatever you are telling them. Yeah, right? definitely, definitely, sir. Uh, okay, because good. a teacher needs uh, a blackboard, right? That was the technology, <laughs> not the technology, but that yeah. was the means which we had. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, time is, you know, changing really fast. And this is something okay. uh, which, which connects me to other uh, students from all over the world. So if I, okay. if I can share this screen, they yeah. can see the screen and then uh, maybe maybe I can write over there. So that's the first step the, the candidate sends me the answers of the test. And uh, then I give a review online, one to one review so that he understands my way of teaching because he may not know me. Right. And at the same time, I make him understand what are the strength areas, what are the weak areas and where he needs to work. So then then I suggest the number of sessions that he needs to take and then we take it forward from there. So that's how the process starts. Sure, show, show us a show us a demo of something like uh, uh, writing skills. I and mean, how do you show this on the screen? How to write? How to correct? And how do you how do you, just 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 imagine if I am the student and uh, you are asking me something uh, to do online or you are showing me something online? Give me a little sample. Okay, so I will I will share uh, one of the sessions, uh, uh, the notes of one of the session, and it was incidentally letter writing only, oh. right? So what I do is that I open an Excel or maybe I have writing pad. I can write also with my handwriting. I mean, I use a digital pen, or maybe I can just write on here. So this is this is the way I was teaching them how to write a letter. Right, mm -hmm. this is already done. But if I start, it will be step by step, so they can follow me and they can make notes. I insist them to make notes, to write themselves so that it gets registers in, registered in their mind. Right. So this is, this is the way I tell them the structure of a letter. 
which mm-hmm. which many people do not know and uh, may not be able to follow because these days we are writing emails really short emails mm-hmm. but the ielts wants us to write letters yeah so that art art is not there the uh, art of letter writing is not there these days so this is what i you know so maybe i start with you know keeping in mind few things the timing so as as you mentioned suppose it is you as a student so first thing i tell about you know understand that there will be a time lag between uh, when you write a letter and when the person reads and you know gives a reply if you lost something in the restaurant that is a general question suppose it happened on 6th of september you may write a letter on 7th it may reached on 10th right so the person who is who is reading something on 10th will react as per that day not this day so that's how i build up right and take care of the tenses many things have happened in the past in terms of letters so you have to take care whether it is a past tense present tense future tense and the tone obviously it is formal semi formal informal right so this is how i build up and then you know make them understand and how to write a letter how, what are the salutations so this is all my notes which i type live and the students uh, take notes of that right and yeah. then i i note i note that uh, you are using uh, microsoft excel right and and putting those those expressions in boxes and then you can cut and paste to copy and then change around is right instead of like a microsoft word in fact we can use uh, like we have another faculty so he is more comfortable writing so i can just write also you can see on my screen so we have a digital pen this time i am just using the map, uh, the laptop but we with the digital pen i can just write on the screen as as a normal a teacher would do on the whiteboard yeah right so that becomes even more comfortable for the student so depending and, on the te- teacher also right yes and sir. and alternatively uh, as a student i can write here or i can uh, do something that you will be able to see simultaneously as we are in the session yes so uh, generally it doesn't happen but i can give you rights you can show your screen so in that case what happens is that uh, if i have given so this is my whatsapp account right so i'll just show you a work of one of my students so she had sent me few uh few writing right which uh, let, let it just you know upload so i uh, i received some homework from her and uh, now i can check so this is this is the you know essay that she has done so i can simply tell okay this is what is wrong or this is right this is good how how you can improve over here so this is right in front of you as a student yeah. so you can see the screen you can see your own work i can point out mistakes or something good which a student has done so that's how the learning the learning is uh, seamless it, it you know it's really smooth uh, you don't feel that you know i am sitting somewhere else and the uh, teacher is somewhere else it, it is just happening right in front of you wow this is this is quite incredible i i like the way the the technology is uh, utilized to to transfer information and knowledge between people who are who are separate by distances and you know they are gosh in a different time zone and the way it is happening otherwise uh, you know we have been accustomed to going to a physical class and talking to a teacher and then spend one hour go back home and then you know try to catch up with the homework but uh, this this technology allows you to you know hold the uh, sessions uh, online now could you also talk to many students just like or is only one to one yes sir i can uh, in in my zoom account i can add 100 students however that will not do justice to the teaching generally i have 5 6 students so that it maintains a healthy ratio so yeah. anybody can ask questions in between they can interrupt or maybe uh, there is a chat option also so i can just chat uh, if i have a question i can just write i have a question so it will pop up in your screen or maybe if you are a student it will pop up on my screen right so that way you know, in in fact if, if i am doing something and in between that nobody wants to and someone wants to ask a question and doesn't want to uh, disturb me so they can just simply write uh, on the chat box maybe they can raise a hand so these these uh, you know these things are there which can help me to understand okay somebody has a question and i can you know just ask that or address that query i i see that uh, typically if somebody score is around 5.5 and 
you need to take it to the level where there are six on and above. How long of a session and information and you know discussion, like one month, two months, what is the typical training time? So we generally uh, uh, work on the number of session basis. We do not work on the number of months basis. So if somebody is at 5.5, uh, it essentially means either he doesn't understand what are the requirement of the test and secondly uh, there, there may be problem with the language skills as grammar. So okay. we, we, we provide few sessions of grammar as well. So generally uh, uh, 12 to 15 sessions of grammar addition, in addition to what we give in terms of IELTS. Okay. So that, that typically uh, one one student will be with us for six to eight weeks. I would say that. Okay. And uh, what is what is the? Could you also tell the viewers uh, how much uh, uh, fees is it per session? I know you're based on sessions. So what is the typical fees they're looking at? Okay. So uh, if it is a normal course, if the person has good time, good enough time, six to eight weeks. So we do 20 sessions on alternate days basis and we charge 14,000 Indian rupees for that. If the, he or she requires grammar sessions, then they, they can be extra cost for that. Okay. Well, that sounds very reasonable. And how many students do you have so far that you are currently engaged in and teaching them? Uh, at the moment, I think there are around 50 students with me, which, which includes the classroom training as well as the online, but online is really catching up. So we have a lot of, lot of students from uh, Canada itself. Uh, today, in, in fact, today morning, uh, a student from Toronto, no, not Toronto, Vancouver, she, she uh, 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 registered with me. So we will be starting the sessions from the evening yeah. as per India time. I, I can I can tell you because I, I see these students and other people in Canada on a regular basis. Um, people are looking to file for their permanent residence through nomination or through directly federal economic right. class categories. Everybody needs English training uh, classes for IELTS improvement. Uh, the further they go, the better uh, for them. Uh, I know majority of people, especially students and on work permit holders, they do not have time uh, to go to a physical classroom, especially in Canada. And sometimes there's a weather and night shift and, you know, evening shifts and stuff. Right. And uh, I, I, can, I can imagine that this is a, really a technological godsend solution for them. That they can, you know, maybe hook up with you, perhaps in their nighttime when it's morning here in New Delhi or, or other way around. Uh, you have many teachers. How many teachers have you got to who so, conduct these sessions? We have four faculty members, including me. So okay. I also take sessions. Uh, okay. So we are really flexible and we have lots of uh, uh, slots for the students because we understand students are in different time zones and they have different mm -hmm. uh, schedules as per their own country. So mm -hmm. I, right now I have students from US, students from Canada, uh, New Zealand, Australia. So totally different. Uh, Singapore mm -hmm. and Hong Kong as well, apart from uh, students who join from India. So we have throughout the day, we have classes running and that is the reason we have really less number of students in one batch. We don't you know, wait for a batch. If it, it mm -hmm. is one or two students also, we, we start the sessions. Okay. That sounds, that sounds very practical and reasonable. So I, I thank you very much for your time. And I, I would want you to, if you want to write at the bottom of the screen somewhere, your full name or email address, if somebody wants to get in touch with you or you know, perhaps a WhatsApp number or something so that leave your contact information so that anybody who's interested to, to further this conversation with you. So, okay, they, so maybe I'll just use this one link, which I use for my students. That's right. Please, please just type whatever information and let assume that I'm a student. I want to see this information written somewhere on the screen. So just type. So something. You can simply check our website, which is uh, mindmindglobal.com. Mindmindglobal.com. Okay. Right. And uh, okay. So my contact number is 9810954. In fact, I would like to show, if you have one more minute, I'd like to show my website please. so that you have a more idea about that. Right? Please, please, so, please. So this is our website and this is dedicated page for online sessions. 
uh, one thing i wanted to uh, you know uh, suggest to the viewers also that those who are preparing for ilts uh, look for a person who is a certified trainer i mean it's not you know necessary you come to me if you come go to anybody he he or she should be an certified ilts trainer because generally a lot of english trainers are there you know with due respect to them they are good in english but ilts is a different ball game you need different strategies you need different you know uh, tips and tricks so you can see we've been uh, doing a lot of trainings these are our certificates we are authorized partners of british council as well as idp for the exam registration every year without fail we go to their trainings in fact i have attended their trainings at least 6 to 7 times every year i go for their training every mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. so so that you know that gives us uh, more and more in depth knowledge of the uh, subject ielts so that is my suggestion to the you know all the students look for a certified you know ielts trainer for your requirements that that can really help you well that's that's fine can you click on the contact uh, button on the top on the on the on your website click on can yes, you click I on the contact yes yeah i want to see your address there address and uh, maybe something yes so this yeah, is i see your address you are new delhi 77 dwarka area i got the phone number you got the skype mind mind global whatsapp ev guys everything is there there's a map uh, you know if you want to follow new delhi I, I encourage a lot of people, especially from Punjab area, who are applying for spouse visa or study visa. You know, instead of uh, maybe they are constrained by a by limited options of English training in their cities in their villages, perhaps they can continue uh, online. You know, one of the things which I I do uh, I do uh, feel that is quite sensitive and important here in English training is that once they are they are out of their comfort zone. They are not in their own village or their own city where they are talking with the uh, with the person who's speaking perhaps Punjabi or Hindi or other things. And you know, uh, you you tend not to practice English too much. If you are talking to an online instructor who does not know you or is in a different city, I think there is some kind of formality between two people so that you are forced to speak right. in in a right. official in a maybe perhaps you know more uh, in a kind of you know teacher-student relationship. So that, I think, uh, forces them to practice English, especially like reading, uh, you know, speaking and stuff. I think that, that that's a really valid point. So in fact, I like to give an example here. I had a student, I uh, uh, still know he's with me. So he's uh, from South India and he's in Singapore right now. No. So what happened uh, to make somebody understand, I said something in Hindi. Right. So after the class, he contacted me. He said, "Sir, I am sorry, I could not understand that particular thing. So let us be, you know, talking more in English. And in fact, uh, totally in English. So I apologize. Right. And uh, uh, so that was one again, one learning, as you said. Uh, so we we always talk in English in the sessions. Right. So that was one exception. But yes, the person from South Indian background, he could not understand. So you have a valid point, sir. Yes. So people have that environment here in this session and that kind of formality, as you were mentioning. Yeah. So so this this uh, this forceful immersion of into the English culture of speaking and always in the mindset of, you know, reading and practicing and listening, I think that is more suitable for online medium rather than physically in a classroom where sometimes if you are off guard, you might start speaking in Hindi and other languages. And then I think that destroys the, the practice level of the, of, the, of the class. So I think that is quite unique to this online. But I really appreciate your, uh, your uh, technological input and, uh, and the work that you have done, uh, you know, fostering this online uh, ILTS. And the fees is not bad. I think fourteen thousand dollars. Oh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I would love to have fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take it back. Fourteen thousand rupees. I know, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, about close to three hundred dollars. That is quite uh, reasonable. I know in my city where I live in Edmonton, uh, the going rate. Of, I think people must be paying around uh, five hundred dollars a month, right? Uh, with, uh, which I don't know how many classes, but close to $500 a month uh, and they may they may be taking two months or three months or so. What so, I know is that it is somewhere around $250 to $300 per week. Oh, where, where that, that? That is the news from Australia, New Zealand and some parts of Canada. 
Oh, Australia, New Zealand might be a little expensive. I know in, in the city of Edmonton where I live, the, I think the last time I checked with some people, I think they were around, okay. they were hovering around 500. So, you know, I think your fees is not uh, not too out of reach for many people. And especially what I like also besides the online, the medium of communication is that I, what I like is that, uh, you know, the timing also is suitable. So it, right now it's 11 o'clock in New Delhi. In my city, it's 10.30 uh, in the night. Uh, you know, maybe some people have come from work or maybe studies and they can easily devote half an hour or one hour to that. Also. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Do you have any closing you, comments? Uh, unless, uh, uh, you know, and uh, I would uh, encourage people uh, who are watching this and if they have any comments, please write your comments and, you know, contact uh, mind mine and then see what happens and, and I, I wish them uh, best of luck and future thank you sir thank, thank you, you so much for your blessing thank, thank you. you thank you take care boy